Chapter 16 Our hearts hang heavy at what we see and hear from some of you as words of spirituality are talked of when there is no meaning to it or understanding of what it is. Yes, our hearts. For those who will say we are not of human form, so have no hearts, that matters not. We speak in words that those we love on your earthly planet can understand. We told you we need to talk to you of darkness, and this is what we do now. So many have no understanding of what darkness is, just as they have no real understanding of what true, pure white light is. They profess to know but understand so little. We already explained that being in the dark or walking in darkness need not mean evil, but it can and does mean they are bereft of the light one needs to walk a true spiritual path. Their behaviour is what shows others and us what lies in their hearts. Words used to sound kind and gentle are often a deception to make you believe they are doing good deeds and that their only intent is to help you. But these are the ones you need to watch out for, my friends, as they are the worst deceivers. True badness and pure evil are both easy to spot and to recognise, but the ones who come in the dark of the night dressed as sheep are the ones you need to be most careful of, as they're the ones who will lead you on a path of destruction where no light exists. What is the dark, we hear you ask, and how can we recognise it? By their deeds is the easy answer to those questions, dear friends, as they cannot do good. They do only bad things while pretending it's for goodness. They will talk of others in ways that are only set to lower them in others' eyes in order to lift themselves. They're often seen to be jealous and greedy, with a need for attention from everyone they meet. Theirs is the biggest deceit in some ways, as they pretend to be a sheep who is gentle and good. But in their heart lies the real them, that of a wolf dressed in ways to hide what they really are. You have heard of the saying, beware of the wolf that comes in sheep's clothing, we're sure. Well, these are the ones to be most careful of, as these are the ones that are plentiful in the world today. Many of them are those who profess to be the teachers and leaders who can make you something we have explained you cannot be unless it's decreed from on high. They are the ones who ridicule religion and also those who follow a religion of their choice or God. If they with themselves were doing good, they would respect you all, no matter what your choice. If you were bad and leading others astray, they would expose you. If your work was only for the good of others, they will leave you be, knowing that your path is one that has to be walked by you in this lifetime. If they decry you, belittle you, call you names or try to hurt you, they are the ones who walk in darkness. What is their true worth is what you need to look for and see. It matters not what they pretend to be, how spiritual they tell everybody they are. What does their heart and deed show about them? These are the people who walk in darkness and yet say they walk in the light. They do not, my friends, and they are people we do not know. We say we do not know them. By this we mean they're not recognised in the book of goodness that we hold. Theirs is the book of deceit and lies whilst those who do only good are in the book of light. Yes, there are books we hold for good and bad, light and dark, and each of these has sections for the extent of deeds done and the amount of light or dark walked by each individual. Nothing is left unwritten by us as we watch everything that lies in your heart as well as that seen by others. You have heard of the books we hold and some of what you have heard is correct. But there is also so much more you know nothing of. There is one so big it cannot be moved, even by us. Each thing done by everyone is entered into different books for what they are, good, bad, dark and light. There are also books for deeds done that redeem some of what has already gone past. 
It's easy to redeem oneself by changing and doing only good deeds from now on. Each one will be marked in the book and be counted to balance against the bad. The same can be said the other way around, don't forget. For as each good deed done is marked in one book, everything you do that is wrong will also counteract those good ones. It's not easy to watch yourselves all the time, my friends, but this is why you must be so vigilant. A book of thoughts is one of the larger books, as these are the things your heart really feels, even when you do deeds that appear good. The dark thoughts of your mind are entered in a book that is so much larger than all the others, and it is these thoughts that are needed to be kept in check. Try hard. <clears throat> even though we know how difficult it is for you when others hurt you, there is one book that is the largest of all, the one we tell you that cannot be moved or lifted even by us. That is a book you do not want your name to be entered into. The others we can move and take away, but this is one where every name in it remains. It is the book where the most evil deeds are written, and for the most hated people of your world. It is not always the ones you believe it to be either, and this is why it's so large. Not all people are what they appear to be, and they do not all have to be murderers, thieves and liars in the largest way you can imagine in your earthly terms, but they are the worst of all. The ones in this book are the deceivers of the world, the ones who have led you astray and on to the wrong path, the ones who will still try to take you there, even though you have now heard our words again. This book is the biggest of all, as this is what the world is now like that you live in. We told you there is a huge imbalance, and this is the book that's caused it as the names in there far outweigh the books of those who lead well and who take you on a path leading to rewards and goodness. Theirs is the world of greed, deceit, of wanting to appear to be great leaders, and yet who have no knowledge to be. They are the ones who work with the dark side and the mythical beasts and creatures they call angels of light, but who resemble no such thing and are not as we know them to be. They are the ones who talk of all things strange and wonderful, who make you promises of joy and happiness if you follow their path. Yet it is they who are leading you deeper and deeper into the darkness where they walk themselves. God is light, and God's angels are the only ones they, that walk in light. Be not deceived, my friends, as there are many out to trap you in their webs of deceit, just so they can grow in the eyes of mankind. We see some with names so glorious for themselves and who preach words they say come from us. And we tell you now that no man of your world elevating himself with grand names is of us. They are the deceivers to look out for, as they are the ones most likely to deceive and draw others into their ways. Half of what they say are God's words, but many more are not. They mix them together in order to confuse you and make you follow their lead. They are the ones who are the most dangerous to you, and these are the ones most difficult for many of your world today to recognise. Those of you of a hub, those of you of a higher awareness can recognise them and what is truly in their hearts, while so many others will remain blind. Dear friends, we watch and we feel so sad for you, as all of this we tell you is such a mystery to all of you. We tell you to be on guard, and then we say many will not recognise the ones who deceive them. How confused this must make you, and we know it does. Life is not to be easy for you, but there are those of you who will be able to listen to our words and act on them. Even if you cannot recognise much of what we warn you of for yourselves, listen and watch what others do. We give you one way which will help guide you, and that is not to go with the ones whose names are written in the largest book of all. We ask you how you will know. You ask us how you will know what names are written in that book. 
Well, we can tell you, if their worth is great now and their deeds not, then they are the ones to avoid. If their worth now is small, but their deeds great, then their worth is much. The balance in this is now set to change. Remember our words. Those who are now elevated will be humbled, and those who are now ignored by many will be elevated as their true worth becomes recognised at last. There are many like this, as we have told you, and now their time is coming.